uh, we give thanks uh, as our hearts and bodies and cells, mind tremble at this call and, and from the, the beloved, from, from Allah, who ta'ala, from, from the one who uh, said to us, be, and, and we became uh, adorned and, and clothed and, and beautified and living and knowing and speaking and desiring. And we came into this life, O oh Allah, uh, to, to meet you, to know you, to love you, uh, to return into you. And, and this is really the, the, the purpose of our life. We, we came through one door uh, naked and we will go out through the other door uh, naked and, and in between um, you have clothed us and granted us so much razak and so much guidance and, and, and beauty and, and love and nourishment, sustenance, consolation and uh, guidance and may, may we use all of this, all of this uh, razak for um, reaching the goal, for reaching you, for uh, coming close to you, for uh, entering into your, your pleasure, O oh Allah, and may we take refuge from your displeasure, O oh Allah, and anything that you are displeased with, and we beg of you to, um, to fill us, to constitute us with what you love and what, what um, endears us to you, and protect us from all that would place any, any distance um, between us. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So, yes, the, somehow it, it came to me in, in these last days to uh, address prostration, the, the sujood, and, and prostration is such an immense act. It, it, it's um, one of the actions that is the most uh, noblest of, of humanity, you might say. Standing, of course, and we're, we're made to be erect. And, and when we erect, we, it's as we speak and our, our mind is elevated and, and uh, our senses can operate. And, um, and so this is part of the nobility of the human being is this erectness, this um, but the other aspect is this giving up of that, is placing all of this that we are, all of this that has been given to us, uh, placing it back, uh, you know, at, at the, the threshold of Allah and, and giving it back to Allah. And, and we do that in the prostration. In the prostration, we have given up all uh, power, and um, and sense of uh, earthly uh, self or earthly personality, and, and given that all away, and and place ourselves at the mercy of Allah. So the um, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the messenger of Allah, the guide for humanity, um, has said that prostration is is. Uh, the nearest state to Allah. So we come the nearest and, and, and Sheikh Muzaffar uh, confirmed this. I remember him saying exactly the same thing that in prostration, we are uh, the nearest to Allah. So uh, how interesting uh, that when we give up everything, we come the closest to the, to, to the giver because we no longer have the gift uh, between ourself and the one who gave the gift. And so as Allah says, um, you know, I have created you from my own delight. I have brought you forth from my own delight and I have made creation for your delight. Do not spoil what I have made, do not spoil what I have made for my own delight with what I have made for your delight. So. Do not, um, do not put really the creation between yourself and, and me, he's saying. And so this is in the prostration is, is an 
uh, immediate, spontaneous way of doing that. We could sit maybe and meditate for years to reach that state that we really in, uh, immediately attain with the prostration because it's um, very difficult to be a hypocrite in prostration. Um, you know, uh, hypocrisy is usually wanting to vaunt and, and show. It's the Zahir, where the prostration is the Batim. It's the inner, it's the hidden, it's in the cave. And after all, that's where the revelation was given originally in, in the cave, uh, hiding away from humanity or from eyes or uh, from those social levels. So again, that points to the heart. So the prostration is really that act of the heart. And in the prostration, it said that one should place one's forehead and nose, the nose. I remember Fendi made a, a, a point about that, that the nose, because again, our nose is a place of pride, you know, for, uh, for men, it, it gives like a stature-esque uh, appearance. So the nose on the ground, you know, how humiliating for some and how exalting for the lovers. Um, and we know that it is recorded, the prophet, peace be upon him, has said himself that one of the gifts that his Lord gave him was to make this earth a place of prayer and prostration so that um, what freedom and, and, and what beauty, what return, this is the natural way, the fitra. And, and there's much emphasis given uh, on, on the way of Islam uh, as the fitra, that we come back to our, our natural self. So milk, the mother's milk uh, is the knowledge. Milk is a symbol of knowledge, that's the, the fitra. And the earth, is the place of prayer. So everything that we have been given naturally, our bodies um, therefore become the place of, of worship. So we don't have to extract ourselves. We don't have to really adorn ourselves. Although there is a, a statement in Quran, it does say, adorn yourself at times of prayer, you know, with the clothing, but this said the clothing of righteousness, really. But of course, there is that sense of, of beauty and even clothes can be beautiful, but perfume is also recommended. Um, and this touches on something else that I, I'd like to mention, but those things should never get in between. And when we prostrate, it's all gone. We're no longer standing up, showing our our beautiful clothing <laughs> to Allah, we're prostrating and asking forgiveness and nearness from Allah and naked. It's a state, really, prostration is a state of nakedness. But it is interesting that, um, that it's mentioned that perfume and, and, and clothing is also appropriate for times of prayer. And um, why? So we think of it because we normally associate that with meeting other people. And we know that the prophet, peace be upon him, would you know, fix himself before going out to meet someone. So that sense of the dignity of the human person was, um, was met. Um, but then we think, oh, with Allah, we can just sew up shaggy. And yes, we can. You know, The main thing is, of course, the inner. But there's another level, and this is like a Sufi level, that Allah has seen us, of course, all the time. And so uh, do we care about dressing up to meet others? Or are we really conscious that Allah is seeing us as we stand to pray, seeing uh, the way we appear, what effort we, we, we give to our person? Um, that's also there, and that's that personal you might say it's kind of like Moses and the shepherd, that's the shepherd <laughs> in us to, to dress and, and be clothed um, beautifully for prayer, that we, we place Allah first. And maybe then we'll show up with you know, our uh, casual attire for people, but really it's to be adorned in, in the beautiful attributes at all times, of course, and appropriate attributes. So that's um, very much part of wisdom and maturity. 
And then finally, we know a lot of dolences. Um, but to continue with the theme of prostration, we know that the um, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi came into the world in, in prost as soon as he was born, the accounts say that he prostrated. He came in with the, the coal under his eyes. He was circumcised and he went into prostration. This is a, uh, from his mother Amina and um, the Hazreti Amina. And he asked for his ummet and he repeated ummeti, ummeti, ummeti. So immediately we see the, this noble example of um, coming into the earth. Isn't that extraordinary? Well, we come into the earth and it said the first thing we do is cry. So that cry is also crying to Allah. <laughs> no doubt we are crying to Allah or we could say we're praising Allah as we cry. So he came in in prostration, in prayer, asking for humanity and for humanity, for the good for humanity, for the forgiveness of, of humanity, ummati, ummati, ummati. So very much the prostration is a place of asking for uh, petitioning um, and, um, you know, asking Allah for the good, protecting us from the bad and asking for others, asking for forgiveness. Um, So um, we know that during his lifetime, of course, he was given also the, the Salat. He witnessed it on his ascension and he was also shown it, um, you know, by Hazreti Jibril uh, on earth and um, the different postures of prostration. He was shown also the ablution and he himself was very much in prostration. He would prostrate um, on, on, on special nights, he would prostrate. He would do lengthy prostrations in his salat. And in, in one of uh, the nights, the, uh, the tauba, the uh, 14th of Shaban, full moon, um, you know, he could not be found uh, in any of, of the homes. And so uh, they went and Hazreti Aisha and Hazreti Fatima and Hazreti Ali radiallahu an, went out looking for him and found him in the garden prostrating and prostrating for such a long time that um, you know, they were concerned as others were concerned sometimes by finding him in these lengthy prostrations. And when he uh, was, became aware of them he asked them to join him and, and that he was praying for humanity on that night. He would also uh, offer prostration at times of eclipse. There was a, actually a prayer that he would do of two rakats um, that became known then as, as the prayer of the eclipse. He would prostrate when Archangel Gabriel salam, would bring him good news. He would prostrate. Um, in, in receiving that news and, and giving thanks to his Lord. He prostrated on his camel when he entered uh, Mecca for the first time as um, in, in what's called the, you know, the return in, in victory. And uh, we know what an extraordinary moment that was uh, that he wanted, he came bringing peace, he came bringing forgiveness. And when he entered Mecca, he was, he prostrated on his camel, reciting the Surah Fat. And it's such a striking image uh, to see him in that prostration instead of going in as a victor, as we know, you know, earthly victories and, and that pride and um, kind of glorification, self-glorification. No, he went in in prostration and, um, and um, alhamdulillah and, and reciting Quran. Indeed, we have granted thee a manifest victory. So, um, you know, and we know uh, of another prostration 
that has not come yet, but that has been recorded in a vision by Abu Bakr Siddiq on the day of, of uh, arising, the day of resurrection that will uh, come. And it said that Abu Bakr salam, had a vision of the day of resurrection, of an immense gathering of all peoples who had existed and great glory and angelic beings and, and the Sultan, uh, you know, Allah Ta'ala uh, somehow presiding over this, uh, Maliki Yang Midin. And all the prophets were on their diocese, on their, their uh, holy platforms and thrones and the saints and all gathered around uh, just to the most magnificent assembly of, of um, hearts and souls that one could imagine. And when he looked for the dais of, of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he couldn't see him. And so he went looking for him, his holy friend, Abu Bakr. I mean, we call him his friend. He's the truthful one. Allah said, I mean, the prophet said, if I could have a friend, it would be Abu Bakr. Um, but as we know, his, his only friend was Allah. So, but this noble, loyal, truthful companion and, and Khalif went looking for him. And he found him, he said, in prostration. And I remember this is in the vision in, uh, before the throne of Allah. And he was pleading for humanity. He was interceding and Allah was um, inspiring uh, words to him, new forms of praise uh, to his heart. So imagine this, how much words were now studying the, the names of Allah, the Asma Husna, how abundant they are, how seemingly endless, because we say 99, but then there are 3,000, then there are 70,000. I mean, you know, we don't know the extent. And if there is a, a, a limit, we don't know it to Allah's names. Um, I don't think there, there is a limit. So, um, and Allah is inspiring him with new names, new forms of praise. And these, so these new forms of praise are connected to this new level of shifa, new level of intercession. Now we have reached the culmination of creation and everyone has uh, lived their life on earth and all are gathered there. And so there is a new level of intercession and he is in prostration uh, to receive it and to, to plead with his all merciful Rab for humanity. So, and also I'm sure to give thanks and, and gratitude uh, for this magnificent creation. So Alhamdulillah, you know, how beautiful. So the beginning and the end, and um, this is his life. It's really a life of prostration and prayer. And uh, so of course we want to emulate that life and um, we do so in Salat and uh, we, we, we can pray in the, in the, in the Subhanahu Rabbi Allah, in, which is the, the praise of, of prostration, but we can also pray other prayers. And, and as we know, he prayed other prayers in, in prostration, other forms of dua. Um, so we can prostrate also ourselves for gratitude. Uh, you know, uh, why not? We are told also there are 15 ayats in Quran uh, where, where we are asked to prostrate when, when we hear them and they are all referring to prostration where they have the word directly. I think most of them have the, directly the word sujood in some form, grammatical form uh, within them, these 15 ayats and, and we prostrate because <clears throat> When Allah asks us to prostrate, we want to immediately prostrate. So we just drop what we're doing and, and prostrate. And we can also prostrate the same in times of, uh, you know, difficulty. So the eclipse. So if, if we hear a, a bad news, we can prostrate immediately and ask from Allah to, you know, deflect it or transform it or bring good out of it. Um, for, for ourselves and others. And um, 
um, that maybe that kind of illustrated the prostration, which is also a state of fana, you know, fana, yes. Alhamdulillah, and then the bakabila becomes again the rising up, the subsisting, but we are different. After our prostration, we are a different being than before the prostration. So, Alhamdulillah, may, may we emulate him and follow him in, in this way, as, as well as in, in all the beautiful ways. Um, before leaving, I'd like to me mention one other prostration, that was the prostration of the angels, when Allah asked them to prostrate before Adam, after Allah had blown the breath, the nafas, his nafas into Adam, and then asked the angels to prostrate. And it said they all prostrated. Uh, uh, except, well, you know, after <laughs> a little uh, clarification <laughs> on Allah's part to them, and they all prostrated except for the one we know that didn't prostrate. And so, you know, that's another time when we could prostrate. If we feel, you know, kind of conflict in ourself, if we feel there's a dark energy or something uh, coming over us or trying to attack us. Well, it mentions in Quran that we say immediately, and we can prostrate, you know, that would be also another very helpful time. So um, let's see if there's any other uh, mentioning. Oh, yes, well, um, one other time, it says that on his hijra, he got off his mount uh, three times when he was uh, on the hijra with Abu Bakr Siddiq, and he prostrated and asked forgiveness for his people. So even fleeing from them uh, to save his life, he, he, we can see this demonstration of, of his love and his care, compassion. And after all, they were given to him, uh, were all given to him. By Allah. So, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So, thank you so much to the secret heart of our peers. Al Fatiha, Allahumma Sayyidina Sayyidina Muhammad, Walayhi Sayyidina Muhammad, Wa Sabi Wa Salam, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman, Rahim, Maliki Omidin, Iyak and Obudu, Ayak and Asain. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم من غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين 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 يا الله هو الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله اللهم صلينا سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك الله محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد آمين 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 وعلى بريس keep the, the fragrance of, of, of your beloved Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, your, your Muhammad, your praiseworthy one, your, the, the most excellent of creation, the, the face of, of Rahman and Rahim, uh, always uh, keep, keep his presence always around us that, that we may not um, fall away or, 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 or forget, forget you, O Allah, for by being conscious of him, we are conscious of you, O oh Allah. And la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, his name has been linked to yours eternally and uh, paradise is adorned uh, with, the, with the love, of your love to him and his love to you, O oh Allah. And may all of us um, rejoice in that love. May we all be in that circle of love, that intimate nearness of love. Uh, that he is and, and that he brought uh, to all of our hearts, so Allah. And, and may we walk this earth uh, in gentleness and, and may we be gentle um, with others, gentle to ourself, uh, gentle in, in all of our relationships. And, and may, we, may we not be among those who, who judge and, and who 
feel they are, are correct. And if we fall away, may we go into prostration, whether outwardly or inwardly, for we can be in inner prostration. And that's also the Salat. There's also a Salat Daim that it's a level, it's a Makam. And may, may we attain that, O Allah, where we always are in prostration to you, prostration of gratitude, prostration of prayer, of dua for ourself and all beings and all humanity, and a prostration of seeking your, your love and your forgiveness, O Allah, seeking your beauty, seeking your beautiful countenance, O Allah, seeking knowledge. Um, I mean, and, and may we, we be given the the the, the great um, joy of, of prostration and, and may we find ourselves all often in prostration and, and uh, together with the lovers. Amin, amin, amin. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Bless Effendi and Noor, Hasreti Pir, Amina Teslima, Ali Al-Din Kostandili, Omar Halvati, Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi, Shamsi Tabrisi, Muhyiddin Ibn Al-Arabi, Sheikh Al-Akbar, and Abdul Qadir Gailani, Rabia, Duwiya, uh, all the great mothers and lovers, and, and uh, both the, the women and, and the men of the great way of, of Islam, which spans all the holy traditions, all the holy paths. And, Amin, amin, amin to the and bless our community, bless the circle guides, make them uh, devoted and strong and completely bonded and and um, be these tent poles uh, of the peer. Amin and bless all the dervishes. May they all be successful, victorious. Amin, amin. May they all re-enter the Kaaba. Of, the, of their being in, in prostration to the secret heart of our peers of Fatiha. Allahumma sayyana Sayyidina Muhammad wa lali Sayyidina Muhammad wa sabbi wa sallam bismillahi rahman irahim alhamdulillahi rabbin alimin rahman irahim maliki al-mideen iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'in ihdina sarat al-mustakim sarat al-idhina anamta alayhim Karum Makdubi Adehim Waladonin Amin Amin Amin. It it just it came to me reciting the the Fatiha, the Mustakim felt like that place of prostration. Ifdina Sarata Mustakim somehow felt like coming to that place of Salata Daim permanent prostration. So Alhamdulillah.